prices doubled in the last six months. We've seen the stock market go back to 2000, record highs, higher than 2006, 2007. Do you think your home's gonna hit 2006 prices? A lot of times we'll hear the experts say, we're 20% or 30% below our peak prices. Well, those prices are invalid and they should not be used as a benchmark. The prices between 2004 and 2006 should be completely wiped off. Why? Because those loans don't exist. They weren't based on income, they weren't based on owner occupancy, and they weren't based on reality. Therefore, those values do not exist. Here's why. For example, actually homes today are more expensive than they were back in 2006. Why? The loans. For example, in 2006, a $300,000 house would cost you about $980 a month. Why? Because you get the interest-only loan. They don't, those don't exist anymore. Option arms, negative ams. Today, that same house, $300,000 loan, would cost you $1,520 based on a 4.5% rate. Those loans that were allowed people to buy 10 homes, no money down, owner occupant, at $500,000, not based on their income, aren't around anymore. Those values are not coming back because it wasn't based on income. Today's loans, you have to qualify. It's based on income. Therefore, those values should be wiped off. Just like, it's just like the 90s in baseball, the PEDs. Sammy Sosa, Barry Bonds, and Mark McGuire aren't in the Hall of Fame because they used performance enhancing drugs. Well, those loans for 2004, 2006 are value enhancing loans. They don't exist. So if you're waiting for your house to come back to 2006 levels, it's most likely not gonna happen unless the incomes come to support that. And we are far off from that, my friends. Another fatal mistake that these analysts and experts are not taking into account. In the past, the, if, a, if a housing market dropped, it was because of job loss or income loss, right? Well, when the income came back or the jobs came back and those incomes came back, the prices went back. A good example is California in the 80s and early 90s. The prices came back because the incomes came back and the jobs came back. The defense industry left, left in the late 80s and in the early 90s, technology took off and that replaced those jobs and increased the income. Therefore, those values came back. This time, the properties dropped, the values dropped because the loans went away and those loans aren't coming back. Another reason why we shouldn't use 2006 levels. And somebody who's a big purchaser of homes just realized that. The hedge funds were using a template based on 2006 values. In fact, one of their criteria was they wanted to be 50% below 2006 values because all the historical data says that the values of homes will go back to that peak in a certain amount of time when jobs come back. But this time, it was a fatal error because those incomes didn't dictate the prices of 2006, the loans did. And now, in the last two weeks, many hedge funds have scrapped their template and done a new template, not based on the 2006 values, because now they realize, wait a minute, we shouldn't use those 2004 to 2006 values because those loans aren't coming back. And the incomes that dictate the values of homes in a certain area are back to 1995 levels. And that's straight from the government numbers. If you want more information on if now is the time to sell and have we already peaked, have you missed the peak or is the peak coming, contact us today.